guys, it's me, Vicstar123, got some Team Mac 11 gameplay. I was determined then not to say, uh, today what I've got for you is a bit of blah, because I always say that and I try and keep it interesting. And it's just too easy to fall into the same patterns again and again and again. So, you know, I'm trying not to do that. So, first of all, this gameplay is absolute massacre. Guys we were playing against weren't the uh, most skilled, let's say, and... Um, this caused rage quits and um, just a ridiculous score. But, you know, um, it's I think it's effective use of dual weapons. As you can see here, flanking around through the power station, just sticking to the close range routes, and then pretty much you're behind the enemy, which is always good. Um, so that's pretty much the gameplay side of things covered. So, guys, um, I only got three more exams. I've got a geography exam tomorrow on similarities and differences between um, a UK place and a non-UK place so that's all good you know geography I like geography as a subject because kind of if you know the basic ideas a lot of these apply just to everything else I mean you've got the positive multiplier effect for those of you that don't know geography you can learn something here so that's basically um, the knock-on effect of one business opening on other businesses um, like so you obviously get more money for that business that business can expand the people who work in that business they get paid and then they go and spend their money in other businesses you know I'm gonna do like a little geography revision session here and then everyone can comment if I'm right or wrong and then that will be sweet so yeah I can I can use you guys to help me with my geography revision maybe there'll be like somewhere who someone here who's got like a degree in geography and they'll be like, well, this was okay, but this is wrong, this is this, and then, yeah, this is going to be awesome, right, so, positive multiplier effect, um, is basically, yeah, the knock-on effect, and it kind of benefits the whole area, economically, um, you've got, um, regeneration, which is a series of planned improvements in the social, economic, or environmental areas, um, Yep, so you've got rural to urban migration, so this is obviously when you get people moving from the countryside into cities, and the effects this have is it kind of um, can create issues in the countryside with all the able people from the um, from there moving into cities. I mean, this happens more in LEDCs, less economically developed countries, and NICs, newly industrialised countries. Um, so that's that. Um, so... This can create overpopulation in cities and um, kind of create a strain and that was an unfortunate triple spray. Um, unfortunate? Why unfortunate? I don't know. I'm trying to watch the gameplay then. So what was I saying? Oh yeah, so this can create issues in cities of overpopulation um, where people with next to nothing kind of migrate into cities um, hopefully to make a living but then they don't really have anything and it's um, a burden on the council to house them that kind of stuff what else have we got to think about okay we've got outsourcing um, which is um, through the technology industry and service providing such as banks um, kind of phone companies and stuff they'll outsource work from um, MEDCs, more economically developed countries like the US and the UK to less economically developed countries like India, China places like that um, and this is because the people, there are less lower working wages there. I'm saying this all wrong, but you get the general idea. Um, yeah, lower wages there. There are less kind of unions and workers' rights and that kind of stuff. So um, that's good for the companies. And to an extent, is it good? it's good for the countries because it provides people with work. But this work is often reliable. Companies will often um, just move to a different... Um, different country if the uh, workers want higher wages so it's kind of unreliable um, what else have we got so um, it's unreliable but it provides work it's bad for the workers because they don't get paid very much and um, <coughs> sorry about that um, they don't get paid very much and then unreliable work I'm sure I've just repeated the same thing like five times in a row and everyone else oh my god that could have been sweet double headshot for you there and I just realised that happened a little bit before I said it happened because of the delay on my mic. But you know, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, got the blackbird. Sweet. I can't even call it in because my teammates are being cool like that. 
So one thing you might notice is, I'm going back to the gameplay here, I'm using sleight of hand, and I get a lot of people commenting when I'm using akimbo weapons, saying why didn't I use steady aim. And to be honest, I value a, high, a fast reload time over really anything else, um, because basically I like to spray with akimbo weapons, and I think when you just spray with a clip and you can get, a, when you see how fast you can reload these, then I think really sleight of hand's better than um, steady aim, unless you're on a big map, but you wouldn't really be using akimbo weapons on a big map, so I'm just always trying to get close range encounters here, and that's that, so... Um, this is kind of coming to an end now, we are just literally massacring these guys. So, the commentary was a bit random, I hadn't really planned talking about my geography exam tomorrow, um, but I'll look forward to your guys' feedback on the commentary and on what I said. It might have been a load of rubbish and I might be getting comments saying you're going to fail your geography, but oh well, it's only geography. Um, <laughs> maybe there'll be some pro-geographers out there who can give me some pro-tips, but... Um, yeah, that's just about it, so, I know I say this every video, and you guys are usually great at doing this, but it would be much appreciated if you could leave a rating, maybe a favourite if you particularly enjoyed it, but you don't have to, it's up to you at the end of the day, I got a really good comment on my Facebook page saying, Vic, I didn't dislike or anything, but I found this gameplay fairly boring, just wanted to let you know, and that is absolutely great, I've forgotten who it was, but it was on my Facebook page, and so Facebook and Twitter are great ways to contact me. There are links to those in the description, my Facebook page and my Twitter, so if you could follow or like or whatever, I'm talking over a black screen, so I'm going to go, bye.